Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. But before we get started tonight, there's a couple things I needed to get done. And uh, before I do, I'm going to switch over and let you guys see my office and stuff like that. Here we go. Boom! Check this out. This is this is where I work. Yeah, this doesn't this see like the... Yeah, I'm just kidding. It's just a backdrop. So I got some fan mail. Uh, you may have seen it on um, the You Now stream, and uh, I'm not going to reveal the address, but it is priority mail, and it's kind of big, and it says, please open on video. So, here we go. Um, by the way, priority mail was kind of banged up a little bit, so, I mean, it's, it's still intact, it's just, it's rough. So, I'm going to, here, let's see. Okay, I'm so excited. This is my first like fan fan box. Fan box. It's like oh, oh, oh. hold on. Oh, oh! It's a it's a box in a box. Oh. Ho ho ho. Do do do. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, now I'm breaking everything. Everything's broke. Okay, and that's just packing good deal thank you um <clears throat> thank you eric for the package by the way i won't say your last name i'll keep it secret and then oh there's a there's a there's a letter there's a thing a thing here there's a thing dear code primate hello my name is eric you may remember me i sent you a picture of a rookie axe i am really excited to send you another fan mail again but this time i also sent you a package that i hope you will open on camera and that i uh and that you like it i will like it no matter what it is i'll love it unless it's like something bad and then like i don't know how i would feel about that that would, that would be not, not like a bad present but like something bad like I, I hope you didn't send me a cat because i mean the cat would have been in the box for a while and the cat's not moving now just saying why did it have to be a cat <gasps> anyhow <laughs> another fan mail get blah, 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 blah. Uh, i also sent you a package i hope you like it uh I sent you a pic. I hope you open it. Okay. I hope more people find and like your channel because I think you deserve more subscribers for all your hard work. Merry late Christmas. Your biggest fan, Eric. No, oh, I almost said the last name there. Eric. Shirgrary92. I think that's your screen name, but it's, I can't read it. Sorry. Uh, P.S. Keep up the good work, smiley face. Oh, thank you, Eric. Eric is amazing. Oh, it's a Christmas gift. It's awesome. Look at this. Look. And, by the way, it was, like I said, it was a little rough in the uh, in the mail, but that's okay. Let's do this. What is it? Oh. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh, it is a Death Star. Oh, hold on, hold on. Death Star Duel. Look at that. From the movie Moments, it's got Darth Vader and. Who is that? Yoda? Is that Yoda? No, Obi Wan. Or uh, is it Obi? It's, I, don't, I don't know. Only at Walmart, guys. Boom, sorry. Walmart got the. Hey, there's a thing. Hold on, there's another thing. <gasps> uh oh, hold on, it's ripping. It's like a hidden secret message on the back. Woo! I ripped it a little. Okay, it's okay. It doesn't. the The little piece doesn't have any writing on it, so that's that's just a piece. So there, put that down. Let's see here. Eric, what are you doing, dude? It had to be at least like. I'm gonna guess ten ten dollars to ship the thing, and then that's in addition to like whatever this was. Oh my gosh! 
It's the Death Star duel. Dear Code Primate, hello again. I wanted to write you and thank you for sending me a letter back. I'm sorry this didn't make it in time for Christmas. Feel free to open this if you want. I didn't send you a picture this time, but I hope you enjoy this instead. Uh, from your biggest fan, Eric, last name, this is my gift to you for all of your hard work. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, dude. Like, if you guys don't know, um, I post pictures every once in a while on Twitter about, like, all the Star Wars, Nintendo, um, playful, creative stuff that I have on my desk. Plus, I have, like, an entire army of Roblox characters lined up. So, um, my coworkers kind of make fun of me, but at the same time, I'm like, <laughs> who cares? This stuff is awesome. So, thank you so much! Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna... No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's a collector's edition, right? Am I supposed to open it? I don't know. Um, write in the comments down below. Should I open it and put it on my desk or just leave it in the box and put it on my desk? Your, your choice. Vinyl bubble has vinyl bubble. Hey, oh, it's written in different languages too. That is awesome. Thank you, Eric. Huge shout out to you, dude. Uh, oh, and it's by Disney and by Fun, Funco. Funco. For all your pop needs. That is awesome. Thank you, Eric. All right, let's set that off to the side for the moment. Because we have other orders of business to get to at the moment. Eric, I will write you back. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have any gifts or anything or anything cool. But um, I am thinking about doing a giveaway of like some t-shirts and maybe a hoodie. Would that be something you guys would want to see? Um, anyhow, let's go back over here. Got to make sure my Roblox character stays alive. Staying alive, staying alive. I love that I've got lumber music playing in the background. Okay, the next thing that we needed to do was pick the next winner. Mm, hold on. I need I need to fade back. How do I? Oh, there it is. The fade button. The fade. Hold on. My green screen's doing weird stuff. There we go. Okay, cool. So, the next thing we need to do is fade in this awesomeness. Fade, 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 fade. So, the grand winner of the truck number three giveaway... Oh, um, okay, there are five invalids. Let's go ahead and delete the invalids. I'm, I'm not even going to review them. If they're marked as invalid... How did I always insert it, review the entries before deleting them? Nope. I'm not, I'm not going to review them. I'm just going to delete them. If they're marked as invalid, that means something had to be, like, completely invalid. Um, okay, so there's one prize left. Let's go ahead and hide the window, because I don't want you guys seeing the address. Click the button, draw winners... Yep. Draw. Da, 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 da. Okay. Now I need to go snip. Congratulations to Rares Gabriel out of Spain. Oh my goodness. Rares. Thank you so much for your entry. Hold on. Let me get this snipped real quick. Snip. And copy. I might be saying this completely wrong. And if I am, I am so sorry. But I will contact you via... Um, hold on. Let's save. And we're going to call it... Um, winner 3. There we go. Okay. Um, I really should have this set up better. Because right now it's it's just... It's blocked out. All right, let's go into GIMP. GIMP, 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 you must GIMP it. If you guys don't know what GIMP is, it's Graphic Image Manipulation Program, I think. Uh, G-I-M-P, GIMP. And it is, I would say it's definitely comparable to Photoshop. As long as you know how to work with GIMP, it works with layers, it works with watercolors and paints and all kinds of good stuff. Um, I highly recommend it if you're an aspiring artist or if you're looking for an alternative to Photoshop, then go and get yourself a copy of GIMP 2.8. It is free. It falls under the GNU license. It originally started from um, Linux. Unix, Linux? It started in Linux. So, huge program. 
Uh, another one, I think it's by the same company, but it's called Inkscape. You might check that one out as well. That one uses vectoring. And if you don't know what vectoring is, don't worry about it. It's cool. Oh, come on, Gimp. Why has it taken so long to load? It's taken forever. While we're taking this little break, thank you to everyone that's um, placed a comment on any of my videos in the last two days. Because you guys, you guys are killing it on comments. I tried to respond to a couple of them today and I'm like, man, my entire lunch break was just respond, respond, respond. So, nicely done. <clears throat> okay, let's go to open. I'm going to go to pictures, pictures. And we want to find winner number three. Winner. <clears throat> okay, how do I do the search? Winner. There it is. Winner number three. And. Da -da -da -da. And we're going to. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. We're going to take this out. And we're just going to delete. And then last name, delete. We're going to delete the location. There we go. And file export export as winner number three underscore show there good oh export again export 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 i know you guys can't see what's going on on my screen but trust me just just imagine like the coolest most awesome thing that you could ever see on my computer and that's that's what it is that's what we're looking at at the moment so just that's that's what it is all right Let's go ahead and add an image, uh, image number three. That's fine. We're going to do a browse and winner number three dot show. Give it just a second to load up because it's got to load from cloud. There we go. Boop. And hit OK. And oh, oh, and there you are. OK, so let's pull this down to the middle like that. Perfect. Fade that in. Boom. Congratulations to Rares Gabriel. Rares Gabriel. Uh, I took out the last part of the, the actual name, YouTube and stuff like that, and he's out of Spain. So congratulations. I will be sending you an email as confirmation that you are the winner. Um, be sure that you claim your prize. You also win a 30-minute uh, recording time with me. Um, as for the redraw of the second truck, no, uh, a redraw of the first truck, we need to go and do right now because the first person didn't respond. Second person says their computer's broke, so I need to pick a third person. Let's go ahead and do that now, seeing as we're on a roll with everything. Fade this guy back out. Bye, Rares. Congratulations, dude. All right. <clears throat> so, heading back over. I guess you guys want to see what I'm doing inside Chrome, so let's fade that back in. Fade, 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 fade. Good. Okay, let's go back to um, competitions. Do the competitions. Go to finished. And uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 giveaways. Oh, I gotta hide it because I have to. I have to show winners again. Man, there's so many like rules to this YouTube thing. Why can't it just be easy? All right, hold on. Hide the Chrome again, code, because you know you can't show those names and stuff. All right, let's select winners. All right, here we go. Uh, Tyler was the last one to win, not Chris. Chris is the second winner, I think. Hold on. Let me go back over the competitions number two winners. Yes, Chris, you're number two. Tyler was number one. Tyler cannot receive the gift, so we must repick Tyler. All right, let's go to the winners. There we go. And status. This is this is out of the U.S. By the way. Uh, let's go repick win this will revoke this win and pick another are you sure okay here we go boom is a bot eight is a bot 
eight. Wait a second. Is a bot? I think I think I know you. Isabot is out of uh, my Discord channel, right? Oh, buddy! All right, hold on. Let me let me capture this. And let's see, uh, let's see. Snip, snipping tool. Snip, snip, snip. New. A copy. Copy. Because you gotta have proof. You can't just you can't just say that you picked somebody and then not show the people, right? I mean, that's how stuff works. I mean, otherwise I could just say like, oh, I've got a billion people who just won. Congratulations. And then you'd be like, wait, who is this person? I have, I have no clue who they are. So. Um, okay. Let's control Z. File new. Oh, cancel. File. Oh, not that. Come here, please. File. Create from clipboard. Good. My goodness. All right. File, save as, we'll call this winner two, one, winner winner one, and then we have to take out the email address. By the way, I will use, I will leave the YouTube channel in there for you, and I got to take out the city. There we go. I think that will work. Yeah, that's good. That's good. File, save, file, export. So you guys can see winner number one, export, export. Wait, where did that export to? File. Did I export that to the wrong place? <gasps> no. I don't want you going into my documents. I want you going into my pictures. Why did that do that? Okay. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's fine. Let's hit right click on image number three. Go to properties. Change this. We're going to go to documents. Documents. There we go. No, that didn't go there, did it? It went to regular documents. Oh, no. Ah, winner number one. There we go. Oh, give it a second. It's got to load. Got to load. So, rares. Congratulations. Uh, Isabot. Congratulations. Hit OK. We're going to turn this on and fade. Boom! Is about eight. Congratulations. You are the lucky winner of truck number one. So, you guys have until the next competition to actually claim your prizes um, and talk to me. Let me know. We'll make some arrangements. If there's anything I can do to like help get your tri truck to you, let me know. So, uh, Christopher, winner number two. I know that you're you have some issues with like timing because of like curfews and stuff like that. That's okay. I will try and make time on a weekend that we can get together and actually play for 30 minutes so you get that play time. Even if we don't record, you'll still get to meet me. I will make those arrangements, okay? So don't don't fret, don't be sad. I I will try to make that happen, okay? I don't know when, but I, I will. It would, yes, we'll do this. All right. <clears throat> Man, doing competitions, I didn't realize it was going to be like so hard and stuff. Uh, how far along are we? We're at 18 minutes. You guys want us to watch some Lumber Tycoon 2? Why not? Because I'm I'm ready. I'm Code's been sitting here. He's ready to go. Let's just, can we open this? Yeah, let's open these. Oh, whoa! Watch the lag coming in. Lag. <laughs> Just fell straight down there. Uh, now, normally what I would do is I would start getting the next truck ready, but I'm not worried about it because I think I'm going to do a different, something different for the next competition. Um, the cleanup over here on the, the base has been going wonderfully. Thank you for asking, and thank you for all your support and everything that I've done so far. Um, so the next part's going to be shelves. we got to put up shelving. So... That's that's the next part. And did I make these out of oak or elm? Because I can't remember. Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Uh, let's go ahead and put the blueprints down. And we're going to want the wedges. The wedgies. <coughs> Wedgie. <coughs> Sorry. It's not funny. Wedgies aren't fun. Wedgies cause friends to fight. 
just kidding. Not really. They, they don't cause anybody to really fight. I mean, not unless somebody's like bullying you and giving you a wedgie. Then you'd be like, dude, why are you pulling on my undies? But that's, you know, that's a different story. And here we go. I'm excited, guys. That was... That was really cool. Like, I got a Star Wars thing. It's a thing. <laughs> By the way, I am going to be placing that on my desk at work for all to see and for conversations to start happening. Be like, oh, that's pretty cool. You like Star Wars? I'd be like, well, this was actually a fan gift. And they'd be like, what? And they'd be like, yeah, I do YouTube. It's cool. We pick our hotels. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> That's from, um, was it Bad Lip Read, NFL, or NHL? No, NFL. And, uh, yeah, it's, never mind. They're, they're funny. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Okay, get those out of the way. Now, let's go back to this one. Go back to this one. B. R. Shelf. Be ourself. Thank you so much, uh, Sherry Bowen. Sherry, for the uh, subscribe. Thank you. If you're watching this right now, hashtag down below. That was me. <laughs> I know that happens sometimes. People are like, oh, I saw my name. It was on the thing. I'm like, yeah, it's so cool. There we go. All right. Uh, actually, that one. That one might be in the way too. And that one. Oh goodness! All right, did that? That didn't clear it up. Let's move one more. So that's that's the hard part. Is like now that there's objects in the way. Oh, there it goes. Top wasn't too bad. Oh my goodness! We got so much more shelving. I might be able to put the boxes in here. No, code. Don't put boxes. Dude, it's an axe shop. Leave it for axes. That's a good point. All right. And B. Now, let's go get an elm. Or see if we have some elm. And just see if... Uh, see if that was elm or not. Elmer's. Elmer's glue? No, maybe not. Mm. They also have the washable Elmer's glue. Um... Okay, definitely not oak. Oak, get out of here, oak. You're not, you're not what I was looking for. I'm looking for an elm tree. Where's the elm? B R, -R elm, B R elm. Got the in times axe in hand. Something. Egg rolls. <laughs> Huge shout out to Mads and all of her fans and peeps that were inside that server whenever I first tried to get in. I'm sorry. Yes, I'm playing inside my private server because I needed to do a lot of things tonight. And there, there was just, there was lag. There was too much lag. I can't be worrying about the lag and the announcements and everything else going on all at the same time. But if, uh, if I do get the chance, I'll come say hi to you guys again. Because that was, that was pretty fun. Like even, it was just a few moments. Mads needs uh, elm, or not elm. <laughs> Mads needs, I'm looking at elm and I said elm, needs zombie wood. So if you need, uh, if you have extra zombie wood or if you want the task, contact Real Mads Gamer. Oh gosh. I've done uh, collabs with her. She's one of my friends. Like, go check her out and uh, give her some zombie wood. Ooh. I get it? Stop, stop, stop. Okay, cool. No, oh, no, it's rocking. It's rocking. Okay. Woo. And chop, chop, chop. Choppy, chop, chop, chop. Oh, chop, 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 Got it. Sweet. This one, like, I chopped down that entire tree, and this one limb would probably, like, rebuild my base. The power is so cool. Just saying. Boop. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, speaking of people and uh, Roblox YouTubers and people like from YouTube, 
somebody I haven't seen in a while is Izzy. I have not seen her like post anything for quite some time. I think she uh, she started doing Final Fantasy videos, which is a great game. I just I don't play it that often, so. Boop. Yeah, that's what it was. It was elm. It's elm trees, guys. It's elms. We can we can chop these in two and get two of them out of it. All right, so let's chop this in two. By the way, if you did not realize it, I set it up to 1.2 by 1.2, which means it's got enough units on both sides of the square. By the way, did that look smaller than it went in as? It did, didn't it? Hmm. Alright, I wonder if this one's gonna be... Chop this in two. Hmm. Is it? It's not. How much percentage is it? 85%. So it's really close, but it's not close enough. There we go. Okay. Next. I love the shelving. Like having the upside down wedges for shelves. It just, it looks clean, precise, stuff like that. <clears throat> Insert motivational word here. <laughs> Cutting edge. State of the art. <laughs> oh, by the way. Okay. Just so you guys know. Um, yes, I am a hypnotist. And I perform street hypnosis. I am not clinical. Okay? And I have I think I've explained these in other videos. But I think those videos are restricted. And you guys had questions about it. Yes, I do, I do hypnosis. And uh, G-Dad has... Uh, like, we do have a schedule of like eventually getting him to participate in some hypnosis and so that's supposed to be something really cool um however i want you guys to know that hypnosis is not magic it's not mysticism it's not like i don't look at it as controlling somebody's mind that's not what it is and i don't i don't want you to think that that's what i'm doing <clears throat> when was the last time you saw a advertisement or a commercial Super Bowl would be a great example of this thing. So, um, for example, if you see a commercial and they're talking about, um, there, there's a little boy and he goes fishing with his grandpa and they're out there on the sunset in the boat and the son turns towards the grandpa and says, I love you, grandpa. And then the grandpa says, I love you too, Billy, you know. And then, bam, farmer's insurance or something pops up. What happened? What? Why does that have to, what? Why was there in, like a, a Pepsi commercial tied to this? Or why, there's some some commercials that you'll, you'll look at and you'll realize that commercial had nothing to do with the product that was happening. Or it was just so silly and outrageously funny that it just, it, it made you laugh, but there wasn't really a point to it. Um... The reason I say this is because I want you to be aware of marketing techniques, influences, and basically hypnosis. Um, what that's doing, it's called anchoring. It's taking uh, an emotional state. It's trying to induce a certain emotional state into your mind. And this, this is like really high concept for younger audiences. So if you don't understand what I'm talking about, have one of your parents listen to like the last five minutes of me just talking um be aware of when you're being influenced if you notice during christmas time you're going to see all these new toys coming out and how amazingly awesome they are and how better than your toys they are and that you're a better person for buying these things these are all marketing techniques these are all triggers these are things research groups and focus studies all these things they are meant to manipulate your mind. They're meant to influence the way that you think. And I don't, I don't want to talk down about it because it's really good marketing. Like I hear the term clickbait so often that it's become a joke because you could have somebody with a really good marketing technique or a really good thumbnail 
and then all of a sudden somebody's like clickbait well that well no because they still talked about what they meant to in the thumbnail and everything else um if you see something that you might think is clickbait ask yourself was what was in the thumbnail and in the description part of the video if it was if it was talked about if it was the thing that was happening then no you cannot claim clickbait okay that is that is a terminology that is used for um, absolutely you clicked on it and it had nothing to do with what you were watching why is that off by like what happened there okay I'm, I'll leave it leave it whatever yeah, that's going to annoy me I can't I can't let's move it oh well, move it off and let's move it back in oh my gosh please don't be off okay Whew. Oh, that just the little bitty little bit that was that was annoying wow okay uh it looks like my time's up <laughs> wow code you really went off on a tangent there didn't you talking about marketing and, and hypnosis and stuff well it's it's kind of something that you know psychologists and and theorists not theorists um psychology majors they they look into this stuff all the time and it's something that really interests me and because i do hypnosis i'm really aware of when something like that's happening i just want you to be aware of like, like there's a formula and there's a way that you can look at a commercial and say yeah they're performing hypnosis on you and you don't even know it so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out there at the end. If you'd like one of those awesome t-shirts with my face on it, check out the Hello Juniper link in the description down below. If you'd like one of those rookie axes made out of awesome wood, and uh, it's a toy, all right? It is safe. It's blunt. There's no sharp edges on it. Check out the Sturdy Guns link in the description down below. Um, if you could smash the like button. No, no, no. Don't smash it. Like, gently press the like button. Um, don't. No smashing save the smash buttons <laughs> um anyhow uh to go check out the discord as well i'm available there um every day monday through friday early morning eight eight o'clock ish in the morning central time um 7 45 be more more like 7 45 in the morning instead of listening to the radio i get inside discord and i chat so my drive to work and my drive from work are filled with discord talk time so if you've ever wanted to talk to me, I am available. And I get people all the time. They're like, is this, is this code? Is this, am I talking to code? Code? Like, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's cool. It's really cool. I promise. Like, it's fun. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. And we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. Thank you.